the patient's leg is bent slightly at the knee, and an incision is made along the lateral border of the leg. Up to 18 centimeters of bone is available for the osteocutaneous flap. For this case, 10 centimeters will be harvested, as well as a 3 by 5 centimeter skin paddle island and a 10 centimeter length of vascular pedicle, including the perineal artery and two vena comitans, the peroneus longus and brevis muscles will be detached from the lateral aspect of the fibula. The anterior intermuscular septum will be divided to access the anterior compartment. From the anterior surface of the fibula and interosseous membrane, tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum longus, and extensor hallucis longus will be released. The interosseous membrane will be divided along the length of the fibula. From the posterior side of the fibula, tibialis posterior, flexor hallucis longus, and the soleus will be dissected. The posterior intermuscular septum will be preserved. Along the cutaneous vascular perforator branch of the perineal pedicle, but divided superior, and inferior to the skin island portion of the flap. Osteotomies will be performed at the distal and proximal ends of the fibula, six centimeters from the head of the fibula superiorly, to six centimeters from the lateral malleolus of the ankle inferiorly, right angle dissectors are inserted beneath the bone to protect the vascular pedicle. At the distal end of the exposure, the peroneal artery and vena comitans will be ligated and divided. Medial perforators of the peroneal pedicle into the muscles will be divided to allow lateral release of the flap. Proximally, the peroneal pedicle contents, including the peroneal artery and vena comitans will be divided. Careful attention will be paid to avoid injury to the tibial nerve.